Hi Scorpio, welcome to your January How They Feel Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we're looking at uh, your person, no matter the situation, no matter what's going on, and we're looking at how they're truly feeling about you. We may get about how they're feeling a situation because with these we're going to get possibly what the situation is at this time could be anything um how they're possibly feeling about that feeling about you what are their next moves what messages do they have for you along with love messages as well so welcome in scorpio hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time scorpio sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned you definitely can flip it switch it reverse it Anytime you feel the need to cross watchers as well. And do keep in mind, Scorpio, if something shows up here and you're not interested or it's not resonating, it's totally fine. Won't every time. You can leave it for someone else and you can also check out other readings on the channel. All right, Scorpio. So let's see what we have for you. Let's see. Meditation. And we have 25, which is 7. 7 is divinely guided spiritual energy, though it feels still stagnant, frustrating, maybe sometimes like nothing's happening when the universe is kind of working with us. Letting go. 22. You wouldn't reduce that. It's a double number. Master number 2 is about choices, decisions, partnerships, and unities. Hmm, okay. Denial, 14, which is five, which can be about change. We're just going to lay these all out and then we get a feel for what's going on and complicated. And we have 11. So you got 11 and 22 and that is, <laughs> wow. So double 11 and it, you get 22. That is just crazy. So again, 11, you wouldn't reduce that. Twos, uh, ones are about new beginnings as well. So, you know, what I kind of feel like is you could have been dealing with someone who was in denial about their feelings for you. So maybe you decided to let them go. It just was too complicated. You know, maybe they were making the connection with you complicated or whatever your, the relationship or whatever, however you define it. So you're like, you know what, I'm just going to let them go. You know, in meditation, it also, you know, I see two hands coming together. So that could be about prayer whatever. So you, maybe you prayed, okay, you know, if this person's meant for me, they'll come back. You know, if, if it's something meant to be, kind of like that energy, you know, if you love something, set it free. If it's meant, it'll come back, you know, however they say it. So that's kind of, I feel like what you did here, Scorpio. Right, so let's see what's going to happen here. All right, Scorpio. Let us see what they're feeling right now. So if that's your situation, um, you know, you let them go because it was just too complicated and maybe they were in denial, whatever the case may be. And maybe you thought about it for, a, you know, a long minute and said, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to make that conscious choice to, and maybe you even told them letting you go, you know, it's too complicated. But let's see how they're feeling. So let's take a look at how they're feeling. You know, if that's not your situation, that's fine. But no matter your situation, let's just see how they're feeling about it. For some of you, that definitely could be it. King of Swords. I'm definitely feeling like if you cut them off, that's definitely because swords can be about cutting things away. Um, they're feeling it. So if you did cut them off, they're definitely feeling that. That the first thing I got with that. Six of Cups. Now they want to return. So you could have had a deep you know, connection to this person. Maybe you've known them for a very long time. The Six of Cups, maybe, you know, could have been a long time, but maybe it wasn't a constant thing either. Six of Wands, success, victory. Hmm. Eight of Cups. So there's that energy of being, you know, them walking away, whether it was voluntary, involuntary. I, I'm feeling like, I don't feel like necessarily they walked away on their own, but I think you kind of pushed them like to say, okay, I'm going to let you go because this is just too complicated. And they're kind of looking over their shoulder, like leaving, like, okay. But now I think they definitely feel cut out. They definitely feel cut out of your energy. Now there's a sense here of wanting to return. Six of Cups, hoping for success, victory of some kind. Oh my God, and the lovers. Now they realize the connection with you because you had to push them away. Oh my God, you got two sixes there. And we got one, two, five, seven, and we got the six over here. 
you got three sixes, the lovers as well. Wow. Sixes are about peace, harmony, and balance. So it feel I feel like they had to be pushed away to realize how they're feeling about you. Definitely here with the lovers. That's how they're feeling now is like, okay, now I feel the connection. I definitely feel cut out by Scorpio. Now I want to return and now I want this to work. Six of Wands. Sometimes that usually shows like the right away, the uh, soldier or whatever coming in on the horse with the offer, you know, the wreath, the offer on the wand. So we got Gemini and two cards of Gemini here. Now that I think of it. All right, let's see. Six of Swords in reverse can be about someone coming back as well. Two of Swords. So again, I keep seeing this person like looking over their shoulder like, okay, I don't want to leave, but yet I'm making it complicated, not giving you what you want, or I'm denying my feelings. And now I'm reluctantly leaving because you're pushing me away. And now the Two of Swords is definitely that blocked energy and they know it. And um, I'm definitely feeling like it wasn't their decision, but they knew it was something... Uh, you had to do, I guess. Queen of Swords, you definitely could have cut them off. No communication. They're definitely feeling, there's the disconnect with the match, King, Queen of Swords, but definitely one's upright, one's reversed, which definitely there's the disconnect right now. Maybe even, you know, cut off communication, two of Wands and reverse. That could be now they're choosing, you know, Queen of Wands. They want this fiery, passionate go-getter. They definitely see you as someone, maybe as a go-getter. You know, you stand up for what you believe in. Fiery, passionate, creative, inspirational, leadership kind of energy. Um, I don't want to say domineering like in a bad way, but you definitely stand up for what you believe in and they definitely see that. Hmm. All right. All right, definitely could be no communication, High Priestess here. All right, so let's see um, how they're truly feeling about you, Scorpio. How are they truly feeling about you, Scorpio, at this time? Scorpio, how are they feeling? Hmm. The moon in reverse of getting over their fear, fears about you. Queen of Pentacles, now they want to be in, you know, into something more committed, dedicated, loyal, trustworthy. So this person literally had to be pushed away to realize things here and now somehow pushing them away and realizing and them having the big wake-up call now they are getting over their fear and they want something deeper the devil in reverse yeah getting over here uh getting over fear and i'm hearing that song why do you have to make things so complicated oh who sings that is it um ever levine i think Right, I think. Right, yeah. Queen of Cups and the Emperor. Oh my gosh, this person standing up to the plate here with all bats swinging here because now they realize how much they love you and to think it's over. They're actually coming through either divine feminine, masculine, whatever. Females can be masculine, so take it out, it resonates. So now taking charge. So now they want to take charge, come in. Because now they realize they're for you, of course, because you push them away. Getting over their fear twice here. The devil and the moon reversed. And now they want to be... Look, at it could be same sex for some. We have two queens. Love and stability. Now they want to work on this. They want to show their love. They want to be a more stable, grounded kind of person. Not make it so complicated. And it literally had to take you cutting them off and pushing them away. I definitely feel like you didn't want to do that. They didn't want to leave, even though uh, they weren't giving you what you wanted. But it kind of had to be done here. Knight of Cups reversed. Yeah, definitely the love wasn't going in the direction you wanted it to. And they know that. But here's the endings and new beginnings, a new cycle. Could be something about distance or traveling. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Definitely they know it wasn't working. That's why you stood your boundaries. Seven of Wands here. Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. That would be the Ten of Cups as well. This caused them to have a transformation here with the Death card. Wow. That's you, Scorpio. Right there. Nine of Cups. Now they want wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. They want to be happy. And they want the Ace of Cups too. New beginning. What's behind that? Seven of Swords. Yeah. They know they were running out of fear. Um, that could be running out of fear. 
avoidance, uh, avoiding what you really wanted. They know that. You know, maybe there were some little white lies in there, you know, whatever, just to keep it, just to kind of keep you tagging along maybe and giving you hope that this was going somewhere where maybe it wasn't. And they, once you woke up to that, then the big change happened here. All right. Wow. Okay. We got Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Capricorn, Pisces. All right. Scorpio, let's see what their next move is. Let's see what their next move is. And it literally took you pushing them away, cutting them off to now them realizing things here. So let's see what their next move is going to be here for you. Scorpio, next move. Six of Swords reverse. There's a return. King of Cups in reverse. Now, when I get that upright, sometimes it can be about someone's been hiding their feelings. Um, it can be mature. Sometimes it can be emotionally immature when it's in reverse. But sometimes I also take that as someone ready to bear it all later on the line, being very open and honest about their love, emotions, and their feelings, and not hiding it and just being maybe a little over emotional as well because of the situation. So it could, could, could go either way, but let's see. The wheel. So I think this is going in a positive direction. This person is ready to um, throw it all out there. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be, moving in the right direction, um, growth, expansion. It's everything positive with the wheel. Divine timing. Let's see. Ten of swords. Yeah, they felt the ending here with the ten of swords. Definitely two tens here. The sun. Pure enlightenment. So total enlightenment here, growth, expansion, healing, love, abundance, peace, harmony, joy, love, light, growth. It's everything positive. It, it took, it. they see the light now, but they had to be pushed away and cut off. Ba basically what is happening here. Now they see the light. It's not telling me exactly when, but we do have here uh, Pisces, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. We are coming into Aquarius season. We probably are in Aquarius season right now. I'm not sure the um, tra uh, transition into Aquarius, but I think it's probably happened already, I'm assuming. All right, so let's see. Um, oh my God, temperance, soulmate, alignment, peace, harmony, joy, love, light, patience, healing, balance. Bring soulmates just the right time, divine alchemy, love that's meant to be usually with temperance they realize now your love is meant to be they definitely do they were just stuck in their head before eight of swords chariot could be traveling moving coming to see you so they may just arrive with a solid offer here this could be a ring engagement let's move in let's be committed let's be in a relationship let's be exclusive let's do this giving you what you deserve justice here truth clarity justice balance uh, universal law and order, things meant to be, soul contracts, past lives, runnings of wrongs. King, look at that. Oh my God, King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Didn't we have the... Um, oh, that's the Queen of Cups. But we do have the um, Queen of Wands over there. Now we got the King, which is another couple. I thought we had the Queen too. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. No, I thought we did. Why am I feeling that we did here? Anyway, um, yeah, it's the Queen of Cups. But anyway, yeah, look, look at that King of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Swords up there. All four kings do make the emperor, and the, so all four kings are here, definitely. Only thing they have to do now is bear their heart and emotions, and feelings, and their soul to you to turn this other king upright to become the emperor. And that's definitely what they're going to do here. They're definitely planning on that. Wow. I mean, we did see the chariot, which is positive movement forward, success, victory, balance. So they could be planning just to travel to come see you. But let's see. Let's see. What else about their next move here for Scorpio? Let's see. What else about their next move here? Scorpio. The world can be a moving, traveling distance, new beginnings. 
King of Pentacles again. There's a Temperance card again. Okay, I'm getting repeater cards here. Let's see. Let me shuffle these up. The more I shuffle, the more I get repeaters. I don't get it. Anyway, let's see here. What else? So we got Virgo, Leo, Christ, Taurus, Scorpio, Sag. Again, the soulmate alignment. Someone more dedicated, trustworthy. They want to be that. Five of Wands. They may know here there may be a conflict. They know that. With the Five of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. So they know they can't avoid... You know, like I said, the Seven of Swords can be running out of fear, avoidance, strategy. Um, it can be sometimes lying, cheating, stealing, but I'm not really feeling. It could be little white lies like telling you, oh yeah, you know, they want this, that, when really they weren't going to give you that in the past for some reason. But I do feel like they can't avoid the conflict because temperance is about two people coming together, being more trustworthy and stable, a new cycle. It could be something about traveling or distance here as well. It could be maybe something around your work. I mean, we do have pentacles here, which can be work, money, career. Um, also, it could be the home. I mean, it's all about material things and monetary things in some way. So they may either show up at your work, maybe you know meet you at your place of work when you're getting out of work, or maybe just showing up at your home. Or it could be something about traveling. I mean, the world can be, in the Six of Swords, can be about traveling. So they may know your, your daily uh, routine or weekly routine, and they may just like purposely meet somewhere. Where you're going to be just show up definitely a feeling of showing up somewhere where they know you are so whether if it's like meeting you on your way out of work or at your home it might be kind of odd or you know daily chores routes weekly routines or whatever the case may be all right let's see Eight of Pentacles reverse. Well, I don't think it's going to be a work. I mean, it could be, but maybe for some not. This could be happening any time now with the tower. It could be like right now. It may shock you. It may surprise you. Two of Pentacles, they're no longer juggling around these energies. They know exactly what they want. Queen of Swords. So they know they weren't upfront and honest with you before about where, you know, the relationship was going for them. So they kind of told you they wanted the same things and maybe they knew deep down you know, they're just going to kind of stretch it out or play along and just not really show up the way you wanted them to. Four of Cups, but they can't stop thinking about you, so they're definitely thinking about their next move here. And they hope that all things can be healed. Angel De La Nui here is the angel of the night, heals the darkness, the things we can't see, brings things to the light, and is a card of healing. Okay, so this could be any time now. I just feel like here they're going to show up somewhere where they know you'll be, where whatever that means for you. All right, Scorpio. So let's see. Um, I don't feel like you work together or anything like that. I wasn't really feeling that. Although this person can be a business owner, entrepreneur, leader, uh, some sort of way here with the um, King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Or maybe that's your energy. All right. So let's see here. Let's see what they want to say to you. If this does resonate, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. Ten of Wands. This is really overwhelming them, this whole situation. And, you know, it was like courting, dating, that kind of energy. And to take it beyond the point where you wanted it to be more exclusive, maybe at that point it was a little too overwhelming for them. They were kind of just happy dating or whatever. Queen of Swords reversed. Yeah, I think they want you to know that they kind of played along, but they were just in the energy of dating and wasn't really taking it like a serious, even, you know, if you maybe talked about being more serious, they didn't really take it serious. Not that they didn't take it serious, but how can I explain? It's like, uh, just kind of playing along like, oh yeah, yeah, where, but yeah, it was still kind of the energy of dating. They were kind of keeping that energy of dating while saying, Oh, yeah, we're exclusive. And maybe they were only dating you, but it wasn't really a full-on acting like it was a full-on relationship. And they know that. They want to tell you that. Nine of Pentacles. You know, they were trying. They were still acting single. You know, it doesn't mean they were dating other people, but maybe not being there for you uh, like in a relationship should be. They were just kind of 
in their mind, yeah, this is just kind of dating. Not really serious yet, but they kind of knew it was going down that road. King of Wands. Yeah, it could have been very fiery, passionate, a lot of attraction towards each other, and they know that. But the King of Wands, I mean, that's good. It's not showing up as a knight or a page. So I feel like if they were saying it was a king's energy, but acting like the knight or the page, if that makes sense, now they want to come in as the king energy they were promising. That's kind of what I feel. Let's see, we have Leo, Capricorn. It's going to be happening, you know, well, we just came out of Capricorn season, so we did see that tower. could be, you know, maybe it's already happened. And you're wondering, you know, are they really honest now? Tower, yeah, big, right now, big shock, shift, change, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, two of pentacles, no longer juggling around this, thinking about it constantly, thinking about you constantly, they don't want to juggle, you know, <laughs> Acting like they're juggling other things, yet saying it's something serious, but yet acting single. They know they want to heal the energy here. They definitely do. They want you to know that. Four of Swords is healing too. So a lot of healing, recovery here needs to happen before this can really move forward, Knight of Swords. And they definitely know that. And they want you to know that. And they're ready to do that. Even if there's conflict, whatever the case may be, they're ready, ready for it. It's kind of what I feel here. All right, we're going to get some love messages now. We've got Aries energy here. Got some love messages for you, uh, Scorpio. If this did resonate, um, or if you missed your January readings, they're going to be popping up here, all on the screen. So you can check out your monthly love, your singles, your new love, as well if you missed any of those. Um, and I think I got the 2024 yearly reading up there too, if you missed that. You can check that out as well. But before that, let's get your love messages you don't know how hard it was to let you go so yeah even though you kind of pushed them away they really didn't want it that's how i felt they really didn't want it but they knew you know probably was the best thing we need to let each other go so they knew it was the best thing but they want to feel that way again with you definitely here I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, they are afraid. We did see that anxiety and stress with the Nine of Swords, but I feel like they're going to do it anyway. Let's see. I hide behind material things. Well, I did talk about material, uh, monetary material things, so maybe this is what this person was doing as well, using like their job as an excuse or, you know, saying, oh yeah, we're exclusive, we're in, and maybe they were, but yet using other excuses you know oh yeah i can't tonight because i gotta work late and you know maybe they did maybe they didn't but let's see you were the best thing in my life they absolutely know that now they absolutely know that and sometimes they stay awake thinking about you so they're going to come forward uh scorpio but it did have to take you pushing them away to kind of wake up and now they want to come back and do the right thing and be that uh, connection you wanted this to be. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need is below. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.